Hello everyone. So today I wanted to take wanted to take a look at this question from uh, Lakshmi. And this question is interesting because uh, I have actually covered this in the past. And this question is actually about uh, finding the usage of your uh, Atlassian tools like Jira and Confluence. Now, this is part of uh, the audit that we have to do when i say we i'm talking about uh, jira admins jira administrators now we jira administrators have to ensure that uh, jira instance is, is running fine and uh, one thing that we have to do on a regular basis is to basically look at jira instance or conference instance and uh, try to find out things that are uh, probably uh, not relevant relevant anymore i'm, I'm talking about uh, the usage of uh, schemes usage of uh, various uh, projects and that involves also getting rid of uh, or basically identifying users who have never really logged in or who have ne never really logged in, in in the last six months or one year now this information so the question is all about is there any report any usage reports that we could look at that might give us some insight into uh, when, like, how often people log in, what projects they use, ticket count per user. Uh, so this is th this is something that you can't really do out of the box. I mean, of course, you have the information in Jira, but there are no ready-made reports that will tell you this information. But fortunately, if you are on server and if you are administrator of your Jira instance or conference instance, you can do that. And uh, this is actually possible by doing few things like uh, looking directly into the database and then running some queries to fetch this information. Uh, you can do that uh, by running queries directly on your database. I mean, be careful, I trust you. I mean, if you know how, what you're doing. Or you can use a script runner. That is also one possibility. And uh, I prefer using a script runner because, you know, you don't have to, lo to log into the server. I mean, there is nothing wrong with it, but uh, doing it from the script runner, from the console, is convenient so you can run those queries and you will get some output and you can maybe dump it somewhere and uh, and you, you can always uh, you know rely on a script runner for doing these things on a, on a regular basis but the best place in my opinion is to look directly in the database because that is where you have all the information about the usage so what i want to recommend is number one i want to recommend that you first take a look at this schema this jira database schema and this is huge by the way and if you look at this particular uh, uh, database schema you will find uh, plenty of information here about how these tables are uh, linked to each other you will find a table where you can uh, know about uh, the users you can know about uh, maybe the issues and if you want to basically i mean w i mean one recommendation is if you are working on the pdf just zoom in little bit and then press ctrl f and you will be able to see various tables i mean it will take you to the right uh, you know uh, box or this table in the schema and you can then zoom out so this is the place where you should look for uh, the, in the information and talking about some queries so a couple of things uh, atlassian has published some queries for example if you want to do some reporting based on the user login there is a link uh, where you can find uh, these queries, ready-made queries that you can run uh, based on uh, your users. Uh, so this this particular page is really useful. I have also made few few videos. I mean, in fact, more than few videos where I have shared uh, queries, and I'll probably show you. I'll 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 try to search by the way. So if you go to my website and if you try to search uh, SQL, just search SQL, and you will find uh, this particular. Or these videos where you can uh, basically learn about uh, various things that you can do with Jira's uh, database for example how to get the count of custom fields get issue types with count of issues and and so on and by the way I do have uh, a repository online where I have uh, these uh, SQL queries that you can directly use um, and I mean, I, I don't really have a lot because, you know, uh, I didn't, never really got a chance to, I mean, I have a lot of queries with me, but uh, 
this is from this is basically pending on me i need to update this and uh, add more queries but you will find here queries like you know related to comments related to custom field values filters issue type schemes get issues by issue types and uh, searching for jql functions and so on i mean once you know how to look for uh, the inf i mean once you know once you are familiar with the schema then i think you can do a lot of things yourself and, and i thought i'll probably share this with all of you because this is something that uh, we jira administrators have to do quite a lot uh, on a regular basis when we are dealing with uh, these uh, audit based reports and i thought i'll probably share this with all of you today and that is it i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye